everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Trinity Fusion, or welcome back if you caught my previous coverage of this game. We might as well lead in with a ground attack as opposed to anything else. I might, I might actually be able to do this. Hold up, there's like a critter. I can hop on. Yeah, nope. Yes. Yes. Okay. There we go. Perfect. So it is a platforming, ro uh, pla action platformer roguelike, much like Dead Cells, if you've played or seen that game in any way, shape, or form, but uh, with a stronger story element. Oh, cool. I can actually evade through that laser. I gotta watch out for the axe, bro. Ow. Oh, that evasion feels good. I will have to move that evasion button, though. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, but so it plays a lot like Dead Cells, but it has, uh, like I said, much stronger story elements. And also, a couple of things that I really like, we'll get into it as we go along. So less damage, more range. And we have a throw instead of a air down stab and a launcher. Yeah, it works for me. Let's give it a shot. Two can play this game, maybe. Okay, I don't think it can do much else. I like that throwing blade. I'm probably going to get a little quiet while I fight, but still. Okay, so uh, I played this game a couple, mo uh, couple months ago, a couple weeks ago. Time is imaginary and I've lost all track of it. Um, but I, I played this and the early access launch version of it was very okay. It's, uh, the combat was solid and the platforming felt good and the story and the music and all of that stuff. Like the parts were there, it just didn't quite have enough of that secret sauce to make it good. And one of the things I said was that the power-ups, these, were underwhelming. They've gone back and retooled them, and now they look so much better. Uh, like, way more uh, than they they had been. So any health items you find heal more. Ooh, that's good. Deal bonus damage to enemies with less than 30% of their total life, or crit chances higher against enemies from behind. The other thing is we've got three perks up here that we can work towards. Uh, vampire rapidly defeating enemies causes a small amount of HP to regenerate. Inflict guaranteed critical damage on stunned enemies and extra damage for five seconds after defeating two enemies. I think I'm going to go for the medical nanites just because. It also seems like we have a lot of perk slots, but I could be wrong about that one. Hopefully we can also get an ability. I wonder if I can... Nope. Damn. That turret is stinky. It doesn't look like I can toss upwards. And we also have a second weapon here. So Plasma Blade. I think this replaces my throwing thing. So we lose a lot of range, but we do gain an amount of damage. So I'll snag it for the time being. The throws are nice, but I don't know if I care. When you open a special chest or a cursed chest, restore health. Coins drop in greater quantities. Not only units that harm you are highlighted for a short period of time. It strikes against them are guaranteed to crit. I think I want either health insurance or scavenger. I'm going to go for the health insurance. Healing is not that rare in this game, but it's rare enough. Oh, that works. I like the fact that that one robot unit specifically will, like, fall down and then crawl at you. I don't know. It's very zombie horror, which is something I dig. Nope. Can't do anything about that. I think there's a blind zone beneath that one. So... I did say that this has a strong story element. I'm not going to get into it too much just because uh, this game is in early access. And so I don't want to say that like I don't care about story content in a game until it's done. But that's honestly genuinely true. Whoops. Ow. Elite enemies suck. Radial freeze binds to... Okay. I don't know if that's a use ability or a... Uh... Oh, yeah, it was a single use. That's a shame. Because that actually seems like it would have been a really good ab ability for me to just have. Nope, into the lava. Ow. Okay, I gotta watch out for this bug. There we go. Okay, so what is this? Damage you suffer and damage you inflict are increased while equipped. That's a bit risky considering I only have 10 HP left. We might just get toasted here. I'll see if I can find a heal. Well, this seems promising. Restore 30% of health. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go for it. How much money do I have? Not much. But 
Yeah. What else do we have? Charge attacks are guaranteed to crit and just has a combo. Yeah, I just got to get into the tempo. Instead of greeting hits, it's better for me to actually take my time and dodge. Because it's not like the enemies are actually that hard to hit here. Okay. I don't want to do that. And unfortunately, I cannot warp outside of one of these. But I can teleport freely as soon as I get to one. I think that's a locked door up there that I can't interact with. I'm going to double check, but this might be... Nope, there's an elevator I can take. Cool. I know this has aspects of the Dead Cells, uh, like Metroidvania powers, that you have to unlock some of them through gameplay. But, let's see, might as well go down, see what's over here. Money, I'll take it. There we go. Just want to stay away from big tent of man. Whoops. The axe guy is slightly obnoxious, but not a huge problem. And we get another perk shrine. Lose coins instead of health when hit. That's interesting. Uh, enemies are inflicted with status effects. Take more damage. I'm going to go for Backstabber. 10% extra crit chance because I'm often behind enemies when I'm fighting them. And then we also have this, which is a dodgy portal that lets me fuse with the other characters. So one of the things I haven't mentioned is that there's three playable characters. They're technically alternate realities as the same person, but you can fuse them together, kind of? Okay. You can fuse them together and have like their abilities combined. Um... So we have the weapons of the previous character, but we also have like a, a, the lightning move. And there's also a drone. I don't remember what the drone does. Oh, it's a teleportation. Oh, that's actually kind of huge. I'll have to unlock the other character at some point and we'll probably do that in this video. Cause I don't think I'm actually gonna get that far. I'm not dying anymore, but even then, I wanted to try using my Electro Ball, but I goofed it. Okay, so do I want some Meta Progression or Meta Progression? I don't actually remember which one I need. I think I need the... I definitely need more of the blue stuff. That one's for sure. Base damage increase at low health or extra crit chance. Crit chance increase for every 100 coins you hold. That's interesting. What else? What is this? What is this? Oh, passive energy generation. I kind of need this one because the vampirism would be nice, but I like that crit chance. I don't know if I'm going to save a thousand coins very quickly. Receive coins as percentage of damage taken. Not only units, the harm you are, are highlighted for a bit. After clearing an arena, if you're below 30% of your max HP, nah. I kind of like the blood money. What is this? Cursed loot. Sure, let's see what happens. Uh, max HP reduced. Launch 10 enemies into the air. We also have Cannonball, which is a really good move. Okay, I think my only immediate problem is I don't think I have launch as a move. Leap attack and air down slash. Yeah, so I'll have to find a different weapon. I do really like these cursed uh, curses, though. I, one of my biggest gripes about Dead Cells specifically is that the cursed chests were really boring. It was just like, you know, you had an interesting objective. That was fine. I hated the curses. Because it was always just, do this, like, kind of complex thing. Or die in one hit. And it's just like, oh, that's stinky. Whoops. I was assuming he was going to be on the other side. Well, ooh, we want a, something that does launch. That hammer looks like it'll be it. Battle hammer. Extra damage against non-elite enemies. Chance to inflict le uh, weak and directional launcher. Hold Y and a direction. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. It's probably going to take forever and a day to charge, but worth it? Guess that didn't really do the... Oh, no, that did actually count as an air launch. Really? All right. Did that count? It did. Okay. 
Unfortunately, we've got this guy up here now. Awesome. Let's just bait out one of his attacks. I'm trying really hard to get him with the um, directional launch, but I guess it didn't work. Ow! Eh, that's kind of worth it. Dash uppercut. I mean, I guess we got a couple of those air launches. I'll have to work on my stick placement. I'm always kind of bad at directional launches. I mostly relied on the C stick when I was playing um, Smash Bros as a kid. Okay, so what else do we have? Because we've seen pretty much everything in this area. We haven't done anything down here. I am very low on HP, which is a risk. There are... Did that count? No. Oh. Okay, so I think the um ground slam count counted. Not sure why, but it did. Okay, so which direction am I going? I think the red portal up here is probably a no-go zone. I don't think I can go to this one. Oh, no, we can. So we can go to the in-between, which is actually one of the new things as part of this patch, uh, which I should mention is out for everybody now. It hasn't been, like, officially announced in the Steam patch. Uh, they were talking about it's coming next week, but it's actually already here. Um, but the in-between is a new region that we can go to. All right, it's a little odd. Oh, this is a bad sign. I did have the thing where I do extra damage to enemies from behind. So that is actually really helpful. Music is very Stranger Things. Okay, so we can get a weapon, an amplifier, or chips. Wait, what is this? What it? Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Character log, there's no map. Um, it almost feels like a kind of battle tree situation. Is there anything else here? Or is that it? Yeah, no, this might be it. I'm afraid to fall because I have such a little HP. And yeah, it looks like my ground slam actually counts as a launch enemies into the air. Which feels wrong to me, but I'm not going to look that gift horse in the mouth. Uh, let's see. Amplifier chips. I think we need amps. Chips would be nice, but I would like to not die 10 minutes into this run. That would, uh, that would suck a little. Yeah, let's do it. So is this just a series of, like, small arena fights? And if I complete them, I get a good reward? I'm going to assume that's the case. Okay. Oh, hey, I got my maximum HP back. I guess the uppercut would have done the trick as well. Didn't work. Okay. Got them both, but I'm not dead. There we go, and we get a perk. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna have to go for Gladiator. Equipped power-up delayed. I don't know. Okay, a weapon. Orbs. Orbs, I guess. I'm just gonna have to be extremely care- oh gosh. That worked. I don't know what that thing is. Okay, and I'm seeing a lot of projectiles on this side. Nope. Ah. I tried doing the somersault, but it didn't work. I have died. That's fine.
Let's go back to the in between. Let's actually maybe see if we can play as the new character. Oh, Hyper World to unlock. She's got a gun. Um, honestly, let's keep working on Kara. I have no idea what the differences are, but I I've never quite liked the weird like double bun thing going on. So we got a couple of characters to talk to, but I don't know. Plot and story is something for later. Quick rest. Uh, it's nice, kind of expensive. Extra health. Okay, we definitely need that. Oh, it's even more expensive. Worth it, though. Uh, let's see. So I can buy additional Psychic aug Augments. I can equip four. Yeah, so if you notice, we have a number of slots that we can work with. We also have... So, limited number of slots, and every power is kind of different in value. Uh, different in value? I don't know. I'm having trouble explaining this. Honestly, the menu is fairly self-explanatory. So, we have this initial set of four that we can unlock. Final stand, which is just extra damage at low health. Extra health just in general. Crit chance and quick rest, which is heal uh, back up to 25% of maximum HP. And then we can unlock more, and then we can also unlock more slots. So we can equip more meta current uh, meta progression upgrades between. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just gonna dive into the next run rather than anything else. This guy is actually kind of useful. Uh, one of the things this didn't have, I don't remember at least, was uh, difficulty levels. So there's actually hardcore mode for people who want something harder, and casual if you want something easier. I'm gonna stay on standard for the time being, uh, but I do appreciate that that exists. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to focus on runs for the time being. I, story is important, but it's kind of one of those where... I always have this problem with a lot of roguelikes of... When a game comes out fully... Wait, I have a hammer this time around. Well, that's nice. I mean, missed, but... Ow. I'm just taking all of the hits. Freaking... Alright, you know what? Let's go back to the Citadel. D don't even worry about that one. That didn't happen. Uh, let's try that again. I almost wonder if I'd actually have a better time with the arm girl. Eh, probably not. The one problem is it always starts me down there, and I almost kind of wish there was a quick restart of a, like, yeah, let's not let's not count that run. Because, yeah, if I have to come back here every time I want to start another run, it, yeah, that little bit of time wasted. It's a good time to go talk to characters, and I'm glad it doesn't force me to do so. But, ooh, we got a scythe now. No hammer. Okay. A slightly Moro case. Ooh, that's zippy. Whatever that is. And what do we want? We technically need more of this. We might as well unlock the next perk tier just to see if there's anything better rather than investing the ones I have. Defeating enemies increases base damage indefinitely until I take damage, which is kind of rough. Defeating enemies with one of your equipped uh, equipped weapons increases the damage of the other one. What is this, by the way? Defeating enemies temporarily increases your movement speed. It seems like a lot of these are very focused around, um, honestly, speed running. And yeah, if I was really good at not taking hits, I think I would actually go for uh, the one that increases my damage indefinitely. Because I could actually see... I could actually see myself getting that one. Ow. Eventually. But it is so easy for just anything to just uh, get a quick smack on me because I'm not used to their patterns. And honestly, commentary is, uh, it eats my brain. It's always interesting going from a game that I've like, ooh, do I want to go for the heal? Yeah. I want the meta, actually, no, I don't think that was meta currency. I think that was uh, another temp ability. So freeze all, on all, all uh, freeze on all enemies, generates enemy, en energy on hit, a heal, and a good hammer. I'm probably going to go for the heal. Heals are few and far between. I 
glad I came this direction. got the elite down and we've got hammer bro down and we get another heal i guess i might as well pop it looks like we can only have one of them but that's okay get rid of that avoid him i know there's also perks for like perfect dodging things but i haven't found them yet so what is this one charge attacks are guaranteed to crit and bonus damage against elites and bosses sure that's way better you can see when one of your weapons is underleveled, and apparently by how much, and I guess my power level scales pretty quick. Okay, nope. I don't know if this does charge hits. It seems like I can't. him. Okay. Yeah, Scythe gives me a decent amount of range. Oh. There is the charge hit. Dash uppercut. Absolutely. And you can kill this thing, but that would be really foolish because I do not have the ability to traverse that. Do we want to go for the curse loot? Absolutely. Dash cooldown increased by a second. Collect 100 coins. Oh, that's not bad. Arc sword. I want to lose my mass blade though. Not really, no. Mass blade is better. It's better. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I almost ate lava there. Where are we going? I guess we're going back to this one. I don't see any other paths the other direction. There was that one store, but I don't think I have enough money. Come back. I wish to go places. I really like the environments here. Nope. Axe, jerk. Wow, never mind. That's a problem solved. Okay, he's done. Do that. Nope, missed. Unfortunately, yeah, I don't quite have the range to actually destroy that, or to hit that thing. I like the sword, but those enemies are a little rude. Oh, come on. Oh, because my dash cooldown is long. I was wondering. There we go. Well, at least those are good. And curse has been lifted. Defeating enemies increases base damage for a short time. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a good sword. All right. What do we get? More money. Sure. Anything else? A perk terminal. Okay, using a consumable item. Uh, increase your damage for 10 seconds. Whenever you, whenever you have an ability on cooldown, crit chance increases by 10%. Let's go for that. Because I do have the uppercut. I just have to remember to use it. I could fuse myself with my other character, but I don't think I'm actually going to get any good abilities off of that one. So I'm not super into it. There may be other perks. I'll have to look into it. But I'm not betting on it. Let's go back down. Guess I can't drop through those. More park. Okay. Defeating enemies have enemies have a 50% chance to explode. I think I'm gonna go for the medical nanites. Extra healing is super worthwhile. Damn. So I should use that uppercut. 
As long as it's a slow end. Oh, are you kidding me? That guy can do that? I didn't know he could chuck his axes through the ground. I thought it would just bounce off, and I'm like, haha, I'm safe here. Nope. Uh, let's see. Gladiator? Yeah. Dang, drop attacks are real good. The fact that they can hit enemies twice is... Nope! Ow. Uh, I thought that had popped back up again. You can hit enemies twice on the way down is super helpful. Alright, there is there is a lower area. No, I can't drop through that one. Ugh, ugh. Oop. There we go. But yeah, that e extra 10% crit chance just from having my uppercut on cooldown. Was it any ability? I think I can check. Here it is. Yeah, whenever I have any abilities on cooldown, we just get extra crit. Now, do we have anything else? No. Do we want to go to the underground labs this time around? Sure, the battle arenas weren't too bad. But... I don't actually want to go to them at the moment. Because we want to unlock that third character. She's got a gun, and I'm curious to see how that functions. Because that could be really powerful. Or it can be completely useless. That's fun. Bonus damage against elites and bosses? No. How powerful is that freeze attack? Okay. Now watch out for that ground smash. Oh, it goes in both directions. Continue to avoid. There we go. It's gonna be hard to pass up on the short sword. I might have to keep it for a while. Because that is really good. Okay. Oh, come on. Become icicle. Do nothing. I don't attack quite fast enough for that one, but still. There we go. What is this? Banner shield. Eh, this is fine. Okay, let's go down. Oh! My uppercut actually uh, evaded the hit. That's incredibly useful. I was legitimately worried that I was going to get uh, smacked there. Lending a crit makes the enemy shocks. Yeah. And now we have the crit slayer power up as well. Aha! You thought you could hit me with a uppercut or whatever the heck that was. Die, rat thing. Okay, what is this? Heavy katana. Uh, it's worth it. It does more damage. It's a little faster, but not much. I don't think so, no. The guaranteed crit is really helpful. Especially with the frost on my sword. I know my weapons are getting out of date, but... Not that out of date. Hey, total health up by 25. Or possibly more? 
that uh, heal bonus might have actually triggered. Ow. Okay, you... Why did I... I just did nothing there. I'm also noticing the, um... Frost visual on the enemies does not last. Like, sometimes it just winks off and it's kind of confusing. Throwing me off a little bit. Restore 30% of my HP. Yeah, we des desperately need that. Battle hammer. Ooh. Lightning wave or a short sword. Chance to inflict weak. Definitely does more damage. Doesn't have the freeze, though. Okay, and I don't think I can go to that one. At least not without the character with the teleporty drone. Well, it's fine. If I can find the perk that specifically makes it so I get, um... I do bonus damage against enemies suffering from status effects. This short sword, or this ice sword? Ice sword? Should last a little bit longer. Also, if we see a portal out of here, I might want to take it. I don't know what this thing does. And it scares me. Okay, I'm gonna avoid it for a hot second. Ow. Right. Freeze him, then crit him. Nope, he ain't frozen. I gotta be careful about that one. I guess he was pretty frozen. Do I do curse loot? I don't really feel particularly... Particularly good about it. This is a good one-two punch, though. Alright, this sometimes has a heal. Yes. 42% of my health, too. Yes. Yeah, I can't get to that one. At least not with my current abilities. Maybe I can get to it from here. The hell? Oh. Teleportation. Rude. And this is why the freeze is good. Nope. Come back. Come back, sir. There we go. You're assassin. Okay, let's just try and turn him into a popsicle. What? That was weird. Yeah, if I... He doesn't teleport until I touch the ground, which is useful. Arm overdrive. Sure? I don't know what that does. Alright, so we have that elevator there, but I can also go over here? Yeah. I can get a little bit more meta currency. Okay, do we have anything else here? I don't think so, because I couldn't go up that one direction, yeah. else is in my way. Uh, let's see. Fire Katana. Ah, uh, that might be worth it. Yeah. Because I gotta learn how to dodge anyway. Oh yeah, Arm Overdrive. I think Arm Overdrive is bonus damage. Okay, this is not the right direction. Fun little loot zone, but not progression. Where am I? 
Where am I going? Because there's the shop there, but I can't... Oh, it's that one. I don't remember if that shop actually had anything worth it. I don't think it did. Wow. Did I just call cause that little dude to just explode? Uh, dang. Oh, that's what it do. It do a suck. Oh, more perk. Okay, bonus damage at full HP? No. Base damage based on how many coins I hold. It's only up to 10% though, which is a little rough. Well, I'm not full HP. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna go for Spoiled Striker anyway, just because why not? Huh. Punch the money. Sure, why not? Oop. Oh. That was close. Oh, I'm hitting him whenever I crit. I'm getting him with the shock. That's why they're micro pausing. Are you certain the security units have fully cut off the engineer intruder's access to the arena? The lens is here. The fate of the overworld depends on it. Score one for your little machine friend and his secret path. They don't know we're here. Come on, let's hurry. I don't know if I... I don't remember if I described what the plot is. Effectively... Oh, no, that's the overworld lens. Uh, effectively, it's like a, a society built upon three different disparate dimensions that used to be working together, but now everything went to hell. And we're trying to put it back together again. So the machines are rebelling and the uh, cybernetic people are declaring themselves gods or something like that. I forget. So I don't actually think any of these are useful. Yeah, because they're out of date too. Good to know. They never buy a weapon from the shop in this game. They're out of date within a fight or three. Uh, let's see, where was it? It was here. Oh, we're making progress. We still haven't hit the hyper world yet, which is what I'm looking for, because that's where we get the character with a gun. Because I'd, I'd like to have as many playable characters as I possibly can get. Let's grab the heals. Lightning katana. It's kind of tempting, but again, why ever buy a weapon? Oh, this might be a boss if fight. You all you had to do was slip past the security units. You were incorrect. Prepare to be destroyed. We. Oh, it has a face. Ow. Ow. So I'm going to do my heal. Do that. I don't know what he's doing. I know what he's doing. Come back. I barely do damage to you. Okay. I forgot I could do that. And now he's doing that now. There's a bit of a worry. <sighs> Does a ton of damage. Is a really bad time for my eye to freak out. Unless I killed him. Whew. Can't believe we made it. 
This must be the lens. It's beautiful. Yes. Now just move the second lever from the right and the blue button. Look at that. It's the hyperworld. Wow, lucky me. Turns out the sword that auto crits on a charge attack does mega damage. I am a lucky ducker. Okay, grappling arm, collect. Won't let me. Maybe I don't have the right character for this. Yeah. I don't know why my left eye was just like, hey, but what if we started twitching a lot? And it hasn't stopped. <laughs> it's really annoying. Double axes. We lose the fire. I don't know. I think that fire is worth keeping. But now we get to go to the hyper world, which also gets us the character with the gun. Which is what I'm looking forward to. Of course, the one problem is I think we are going to... Um, finish this run and immediately launch into hers. And I don't quite have the uh, eye for that. I don't know what's going on, man. I've been like a myriad of maladies. Ow. I think I can just be behind him, yeah? I can not only be behind him, I can absolutely just wreck him. I don't know what that other thing is. That might be weakness. 3,000 damage. It's not even fair. I had no business beating that previous boss, but I am not going to look at that gift horse in the mouth. Okay, uh, yeah, if I'm only gonna get one blue, I'm going for the yellow. Let's see. Oh, this is Vengeance. What is the, what is the perk for this one? Guardbreaker. Guaranteed critical damage on stunned enemies. That actually is pretty good. But I think we're gonna go for health insurance. We need that little bit of heal. And opening up chests seem... It doesn't happen that often, I guess. Oh, that fire is good. Uh, poison, poison short sword. Sure, generate some extra energy. Not that any of my moves actually use energy, to my knowledge. But that's fine. I've gotten far further than I would have expected anyway. One or one. Void. Just kind of mess him up. Only drop attacks did crit. Oh boy, that'd be good. Heavy katana. Nope. What I want is the other one. Okay, let's see if I can. Oh, I can get this open. I'm gonna go for the health. I know I should probably go for the meta currency, considering I'm probably going to die, but you never know. I might be able to pull this off and go even further. Nano Short Sword. Extra damage against armored enemies. Nah, it's not really that much better. Wow. It feels like some of my hits just absolutely destroy things. Contains one partial health restore. Actually, yeah, why not? I've got oodles of money, and I can just hoard that for a while. Wait, what? I had a perk that was supposed to make it so that would heal me. Rude. I don't know why this guy has just decided I'm beneath his attention and has just accepted death, but I don't mind. Ow, rude. More meta prog progression. I'm going to be able to unlock some stuff. Okay. Oh, cannot dash in water. You know, honestly, that makes a lot of sense. Ooh, where does this take me? That takes me to the in-between, uh, which we have definitely been to. Uh, let's see. 
go back to. We do have an elevator over here, so I'll just take that up. This is my, what, third take on this video? And so I'm trying to remember exactly what I introduced and what I haven't. One way or another, I'm, I'm like, super positive about what's been changing for this. Uh, the one thing I would say is, I wish the... I wish the perks... That, like, scaled... Maybe didn't have limitations. Maybe if it just had diminishing returns. Or not. I don't know. Okay, extra damage against enemies, full health, bonus damage against... Ah, this one's tough. Because my crit sword is extremely out of date, but on the flip side, that perk is just too good. I'd, I'd much rather have a light attack that is reasonably strong and my charge weapon that is uh, broken. Unfortunately, I think the solution here is going to be to get rid of my guaranteed crit sword, which is a shame. Oh, I wonder if it's like a double crit situation where my crit is critting. Boy, those tentacles did not want to... did not want to end. What is this? 100 damage now. I'm just gonna heal, then stack this one. Kinda wish I could actually stack multiple of those. Just carry a supply. But I guess that would make it so you could just kind of heal tank through everything. Absolutely unhinged damage. Either that or the math on the uh, heavy sword is... That is weird. The math on the heavy sword could also just be having a day. Okay, do we want to do Cursed Loot? Last time I tried doing Cursed Loot, it went bad. Uh, do I actually want to fuse with the character? I mean, we've got the funding for it. Can I fuse with the other character? Yeah, Naira, she's new. Okay, so what's she got? She got gun. Cool. Uh, you know what? I feel better. Let's do it. Cannonball. So I can lose armor overdrive? Yeah. Oh, that's what that is. Available button inputs. Huh. Because yeah, I don't quite like Cannonball being on the D-pad. It's better for, like, consumable consumables. But it is a good point. Most of my ability, or most of my buttons are currently monopolized by other things. I'll just have to make do. Okay. Oh, we can't go up. I can go up. The uppercut gave us the option. Uh, let's see. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just left that there. Okay, I don't I don't think I can do this at this point. I think they put that safeguard there specifically so I can't do the thing that I just did. Oh well. They put the safeguard there. It didn't stop me. Okay, cannonball is fun. Right, I should probably also try gun. Uh, it binds to down. No, not through there. Yeah, I don't... I'm not betting on my ability to go through this one. Yeah. 
Well, one way or another, we got some bonus resources that we ought not to have gotten. Okay, where are we going next? We got some stairs at the bottom of this elevator chain. That takes us upwards. It definitely gets that Metroidvania feel. It's not quite as dense nor interconnected, but it definitely feels like I'm at least exploring an area. <laughs> That's not a choice. Okay, so where are we going next? Because we have the in-between. But is that the only area, or is there somewhere else? I don't mind going to the in-between, because this run is, as far as I'm concerned, functionally done. Like, I, I got what I came for, and then some. Attack speed is in improved. 10%. What is the can- what is the cannon? Oh. I'll have to check later. Wait, what? What are these? Passive ability slots. Huh. I wonder if those are vestigial or if it's something else. We... Well, there's something here. Aha! I have a gun! Okay, so where are we going? The other direction? Is that... Is that a valid path? I thought I went the other direction and said no. Yeah, not a valid path. So I think we can only go to the in-between. Otherwise, this run is over. Curious. I wonder where I get my um, weird movement tech. Maybe I actually have to talk to NPCs. But dialogue? I don't want to do a dialogue. Well, whatever. Unless I miss like a whole extra exit path. But I might as well go here. Oh, because, yeah, we can't go to the Hyper World Lens yet for reasons. Possibly because I don't have the right character? I don't know. Well, at least we know how the Hyper World works. Alright, fools. I have a gun. Boop. Boop. Oh, missed him. Wow. Did I just delete him from existence? Sick. Ow. Took a smidge, but we get a perk. Uh, let's see. So what's the cannon? Ooh, glass cannon. So we might not want that. Lose coins. Striking enemies with an ability inflicts weak. Let's go for that one. I don't really want the glass cannon perk. I'm not that durable. Amplifier, weapon, orbs. Probably orbs at this point. Alright, is it go time? I'm assuming it's go time. What? Is it? I, I think I got stuck in his hitbox. Why is everything dying so fast? Am I busted? What happened? Oh, get some health. I'll take it. I guess we should get a weapon at some point. Okay, this is an actual boss thing. Never mind, it's dead. Why? Oh, maximum health increase. Oh, that's really good. Maybe we need to come back here sooner in the future. Okay, don't go this direction. But where is out? Ah, here we go. Okay, health or ability. And then a boss. I'm going to keep going for the health. If we get maximum uh, max HP from it. I'm super about that. Not this direction. Ow. What? Hyper world, world lens did... Huh. I guess I fell out and I've... Well, I... That's funky. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, short sword? No. 
Damage against... No. And boost movement speed for a short period of time. I don't think so. So this might be... Sort of? What is the final boss? We kind of are lacking the preamble for it, but whatever. Alright, so my entire goal here is to... Oh, he... He is a tanky sucker. He seems to have shields of some variety. And bubbles. He has a lot of bubbles. Now, yeah, rude. I'm trying to do the charge. Don't do whatever you're doing, sir. I don't know how to dodge it. Whoop. Ow. Ow. Oh, oh, I'm out of energy. That's why I can't do it. Oh, that's what that do. Okay, I don't know what these are. They do hurt me. The reason why I can't do more of these now is because I have to hit him. That's the hit. Well, it's okay. I'm starting to understand how he works. I think these things are just purely distance based. Uh, that's a new one. I think I messed him up though. Oh, it's like got a creepy face. I didn't even notice it had like a human. Ugh. I did not realize it was an woman. I feel like I'm missing some of the context behind this fight. Ow. Okay, she really liked doing the spin, though. I just dodging some of those is a bit of a pain. I don't quite have the heals or the the means to deal with some of this. Ow, rude. Yeah, I almost wonder rather than trying to do my charge if I'm better off just shooting her a bunch. Going for the weak hits. How? I'm not actually sure how that was supposed to hit me. Okay, she's doing... Nope, she's doing that. Oh, wait, hold up. This thing is shielding her. actually sure if it's better. Okay. But how? Okay. I think this needs a smidge of work. I think mostly bent centered around the idea of how can how are some of those things hitting me? I'm not sure. 
It's okay. Also, the, bo the boss just giving themselves shield is uh, real stinky. I think once you get used to it and or if you have the right weapon combo, it's not so super bad. Okay, she's doing that again. And yeah, once again, hit me. I don't know. I think that has like the wrong hitbox or something. Doesn't matter. I think that was a great fight all the same. Uh, just needs a couple of uh, patches and polish. So let's at least see the intro for Nera, and then we will end. Like, I do like the boss fight, and I, I think if I were to fight that boss again, it wouldn't be super bad. Oh, this character just has no preamble. <laughs> I think I've outstripped the available plot in the game. So this character has... Oh, they have some ranged attacks. Interesting. Yeah, so they have gun, but gun is not their only weapon. All right, well, all things considered, rather than doing another run and getting possibly wrecked, because this is a new area, I think, that I haven't been to. I don't know if there's perfect hits on that. Oh, well. Dodging through an attack sticks an explosive to your attacker is really useful. It used to be kind of crummy. Now it's much better. All right, but rather than doing this run, let's return to Citadel and see if we get a cutscene. We might, or we might not. I do like her as a character, and it seems like every character might have their own perk sets, which they pull from. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like we've got any kind of preamble for this character. Eh, it's probably best for me. I'm here to show off the gameplay. If you guys want to see the story, luckily this game is available on Steam and Early Access now. It's pretty functional. Uh, <laughs> I, oh, what are these? Oh, this is where we choose our beginning loadout potentially or if we want to like swap between characters I see that makes sense but I wanted to go take a look at my perks before I went too far hey, what's up buddy robot who are you you're cute for a machine it's wild how this seems to be the one thing all three of you agree on so far that's claw 17 he's Kara's friend she'll have to translate for us Nobody else understands what he's saying. Yet. Can he write? Have you tried giving him a keypad? He can write, but nobody can understand that either. It's best to just get Kara. Cool. Alright, so I wanted to just very quickly look at the meta progression, seeing as I grabbed all this stuff. Uh, I need 15, I'm 3 short. I could get 6 more slots. That's not the worst idea. Yeah, let's just do that. Even though I can't actually afford any of these yet. I might just go for the extra HP. Nope, actually we're buying that base crit chance. Oh boy. Can I equip both of them? Wait. I'm assuming I cannot equip both. Yeah, I can't have both. Well, it's fine. One way or another, a 20% base crit chance is pretty useful considering these... Crit perks and wait, we can we can get this one. Does it keep going? It it might? I have no idea. But uh, whatever. Doesn't matter for now. I'm having a blast with this game. It is improving by leaps and bounds uh since I last played it. Like the original demo I played for the next fest, I was like, I'm not even sure if I'm, you know, ready to put this up on YouTube. Early access was like, this is good, but it needs special sauce. Now it's got the special sauce, and now all I can say is more. Uh, plus a little bit of polish, maybe on that boss, the, uh, the AoE being able to just hit me, uh, didn't seem right. I'm going to assume it was a bug. So, anyway, like I was going to say, uh, Trinity Fusion is available on Steam now, today, in early access, and seems to be getting regular patches, uh, without a whole lot of space in between them, which is pretty cool. And it's, it's 25 bucks, so it's a little steeper than normal. I'm hoping they do a sale for the major update to get people interested, but I don't know. One way or another, I'm going to keep my eye on this one and come back for more later. So for now, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, I'm going to crouch like a gremlin and uh, say, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. Well, with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.